Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make delicious zucchini tomato wraps. All right, so we're gonna get started, and I'm gonna share with you, this was our very first video that we started and showed on YouTube almost five years ago. So we're gonna go back and I'm gonna show it to you again because it really is a great recipe that you all need to see. And the video footage of, from that many years ago was probably not the greatest and we weren't good at editing yet, so this should be better. All right, so I have three cups of zucchini, which equaled about two small zucchini. I'm just gonna throw it in the blender. I just chopped them up. We have one cup of chopped tomatoes. And I just used canned tomatoes. It's about half a can of tomatoes. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. One cup of sunflower seeds. And you can soak them or not. Soaking is always better when it comes to nuts and seeds to uh, rinse off the enzyme inhibitors that are on there, but just for expedience, I'm gonna show you this way. We're gonna do two tablespoons of psyllium husk. This is whole, whole psyllium husk. It's not the psyllium husk powder, it's just the husk. Okay. One teaspoon of Bragg's liquid amino acids. And if you don't have this, you can always use low sodium uh, soy sauce, or you can use just a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna do about a teaspoon, maybe a little more of oregano. And that's gonna give it a really nice earthy flavor. And then two and a half cups of water. And if you see, I've got our new shirts on here. And the special thing about these shirts is that there's also a design on the back. Very cool. Two-sided t-shirts. You can check them out on our website. I'll give you a link to our uh, shop page on the links below. Now we're just gonna blend this for about one minute. Okay. There, it's nice and smooth and creamy. And what I have here are two dehydrator trays. And I'm gonna use the webbing, the plastic webbing thing on there. And then I'm also gonna use one of these Teflex sheets because you're gonna pour it onto here, we're gonna stick it in the dehydrator for a few hours and then we're gonna peel this off and then flip them and then dehydrate them a few more hours. Okay, and I have uh, my dehydrator set for about 120 degrees. And we're just gonna pour half of this mixture onto each tray. And that's something you just kinda have to eyeball. Okay, and then we're gonna spread it around as evenly as we can. And I usually make them square because I cut them into four. So I'm gonna go all the way to the edge. I don't wanna waste any of this goodness by making a circle. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to invite you to click the subscribe button and then the little bell notification so that you can get notified every time we put out a new show here on YouTube. Be sure to check out our growing line of printable cookbooks, guides, and apparel. We also offer free and paid memberships on our community website. And last but not least, be sure to head over to our official website at plantbasedcookingshow.com to browse through hundreds of original recipes, tips, and resources on plant-based living. Okay, back to the show. Okay, they are out. And here they are. 
And you can see they look a little darker in some areas, which is perfectly okay, just as long as it's dry and it's not too brittle. And if it's a little bit brittle, you can always spritz it with just a little bit of water and let it sit, and then it'll get a little bit more flexible again. So what I do, I like to cut these into four because that's you know, a more manageable size for making wraps that we like. Okay, there we go. So you have eight wraps worth. And what I like to do, I like to put them in either a Ziploc baggie or a Tupperware and put them in the refrigerator. And these will literally, they will last you, uh, last, they'll stay good in the refrigerator for quite a while, a few weeks at least. But trust me, they're not gonna last long. And I usually like to put, uh, I like hummus and spinach and a little bit of salsa, um, sprouts, tomatoes, onions. You can just load them up with anything you want. Of course, you guys have probably all had wraps before, but you probably haven't had wraps with this kind of wrapper. It's fantastic. You need to try it out. And I'll see you next time.